Struggling with the Windows cannot complete the extraction error while unzipping files? Let's tackle it together and get those files extracted smoothly. First, check for sufficient disk space in your computer. Navigate to File Explorer and check the remaining free space on your hard drive. To check the storage, click on this PC. If it's running low, consider freeing up some space by deleting unnecessary files or transferring them to an external storage device. Without admin privileges, Windows blocks extraction. To overcome this, right-click on the Extraction tool or the Compressed folder. From the pop-up menu, select Run as Administrator. Antivirus may disrupt extraction, flagging files as threats. Temporarily disable antivirus before extracting. In this video, I mentioned the method using McAfee and for Windows Defender method, go to the link in description. Click Start and type Windows Security. Select Windows Security from the search results. Go to Virus and Threat Protection. Click on Open App. From left-hand side, click on Four Dots. Click on Real-Time Scanning. Now, turn it off from here. Select the time when you want to resume real-time scanning. Hit Turn Off. You can turn on protection as soon as you complete your work, or it will resume as per your selected time frame. If the destination folder location is causing the error, try changing it to a different location. Ensure that the new location has sufficient disk space and the necessary permissions for file creation. You can create a new folder and set it as the destination for the extraction process. Restarting can clear any temporary glitches or conflicts that may be causing the extraction error. Click on the Start button. Locate the power icon. The bottom corner in Windows 11 and 10 and the top corner in Windows 8. Select Restart from the available options. SFC and CheckDisk are Windows tools for fixing file and disk issues. Press Windows key plus X and select Command Prompt Admin. In the Command Prompt window, paste the SFC space slash scan now command. Hit Enter. This will scan your system files for corruption and attempt to repair them. The process may take some time, so be patient. Once the scan is complete, the command prompt will display the results. Some possible outcomes are Windows Resource Protection found no integrity violations. This means no corrupted files were found. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files, but was unable to fix some of them. In this case, you may need to run the DISM, Deployment Image Servicing and Management, tool to repair the underlying image. CheckDisk can fix errors on your drive, but it can also interrupt running programs if the drive is in use. Open Command Prompt as Administrator and paste CheckDisk C slash R. Commands are in description. Replace C with the drive letter you want to scan. The slash R parameter tells CheckDisk to locate bad sectors and attempt to recover readable information. You'll likely be prompted to schedule the scan for the next time you restart your computer. Type Y and press Enter to confirm. Restart your computer. CheckDisk will run before Windows loads and fix any errors it finds. By running these scans, you can identify and potentially fix corrupted system files and errors on your hard drive. In some cases, the issue may be specific to the zip file you are trying to extract. To validate this, try extracting a different zip file. If the extraction process succeeds, it indicates that the problem lies with the original zip file. Consider obtaining a fresh zip file copy and attempt the extraction again. Clean Boot resolves software conflicts hindering extraction. Press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog. Type MS Config and press Enter. Go to the General tab. Select Selective Startup. Uncheck the box for Load Startup Items. Go to the Services tab. Check the box for Hide All Microsoft Services. Click Disable All. Go to the Startup tab. Click Open Task Manager. In Task Manager, right-click on each enabled startup program and select Disable. Hit OK in Task Manager and then OK in System Configuration. When prompted, restart your computer. Sometimes, the length of the file name can cause issues during extraction. 
Try shortening the file name before extracting it. Keep the file name concise, avoiding any unnecessary characters or spaces. Once modified, attempt the extraction process again. If you obtain the zip file from an online source, it is possible that the file may have been corrupted during the download process. To rule out this possibility, delete the current zip file and download it again from a reliable source. Then, attempt to extract the newly downloaded file. If nothing works, try third-party extraction software. 7-Zip is a free, open source, and feature-rich. Download the software, link in description. Install it. Now, to open a compressed file in 7-Zip, right-click on the compressed file and click on Open With. Hit Choose Another App. You might have 7-Zip in Open With option, or here, if not, scroll down and tap Choose an app on your PC. Click on 7-Zip and hit Open. From here, select 7zfm.exe. Click Open. PZip is a free, open-source alternative with a user-friendly interface. Download PZip and install it on your computer. Follow the steps on your screen as prompted for installation. Now, right-click on the file you want to extract. Tap Open With and select PZip. Bandazip is another free, lightweight option with a focus on speed and ease of use. Download and install it on your computer. For installation, follow the prompts on your screen. Now, go to the zip file and right-click on it. Select Open from pop-up options. Alternatively, if you have access to another computer, you can try extracting the files there. Ensure that the computer has sufficient disk space and the necessary permissions for file creation. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe our channel.